Inspirations come from all around us. No matter where you go or what you see, there will always be something, even if we don't realise it at the time. For me, this comes from Cornwall, the place where I live. Cornwall has a vast history of mining. This environment, the minerals and crystals mined from the land, play an important part in my practice. It's part of my story. When you look at something you like, it makes you smile. That's the feeling I get when I look at these minerals and crystals. In particular, the molecular structure and geometric forms within them. This feeling overwhelms and calms me, allowing the creative practice to begin. To enable this to happen, my workspace and surrounding area is key. A place with no distractions, allowing me to focus solely on my creativity and use this space to my full advantage. Digital technology has now become integral to my work. It allows me to explore and experiment with designs in ways I could never have imagined, using Rhino, as there is always something new to learn. 3D printing each piece from white nylon, then hand dyeing them allows me to experiment further. A process that is fascinating, watching the change, seeing the piece come alive, nearing the end of completion. Each piece of jewellery I make is unique, vibrant and wearable, accentuating the geometric forms and structures within the design. The final elements added are silver findings that complement the end product, giving a glimpse of the past of where I started out in jewellery making. Now we come full circle and back to the beginning. New ideas start to form and creativity continues. We will always find something or somewhere that enlightens us. It will always be my environment that inspires me bringing nature, art and science together in ways that will create opportunities and discussion, opening our eyes to new concepts and ideas.